So, I left pretty early this morning from the island. I didn't do that much after I fitted the, uh, the quick release for the baby forest day. And they set out my hammock because there was people coming to the island. There was a boat next to mine and there were a lot of, yeah, I don't like to film stuff when there's a lot of people around me. Yeah, I think I'm kind of a little embarrassed about that. I know I shouldn't, but yeah, that's just the way it is. I just took it easy, slept, did some reading and uh, left early this morning and it's a downwind. But the wind is not that strong, so I'm only using my mainsail. And of course, because I wanted to try the hammock while sailing. Now I'm gonna put up my drone to film some footage out of this hammock setup. And I think it's a sunny day, sunny morning. There's my drone and the handle you might have seen on my earlier videos. This is still the uh, the kind of a prototype thing because it's blocking one of the cameras under there. I have I have made a few changes, but I'm not printed the new one because this works okay. So we are sailing now about three and a half knots. Uh, without the motor, I'm just going like 2.5 knots. So I'm using the motor to, to get a, a little bit more speed because the batteries are full. And the way to my home harbor is it's pretty long. It's about 13 nautical miles. So it's gonna take, if I go four knots, it's gonna take like three hours. So yeah. Uh, but if I'm going only two and a half knots, it's going to take like five hours or something, or even more. Well, about five hours, yeah. So, yeah, I'm saving two hours with the motor. So, yeah. Let's fire up the drone and set it up and take some cool footage. getting pretty close to Helsinki now the wind is not yeah the wind is really weak so I'm motoring mostly that main sail up still but I don't think it's affecting that much maybe half a knot or something but because the sun is shining there's no clouds, sky. I decided to dig my solar oven out of the well, the bow area over there. It's been under a lot of stuff over there, and well, I got these vegetarian nuggets. I've never tried this before, so I'm gonna take those put them in the tray put it in and hopefully I got the time to eat it before I get to the to my harbor so let's do that I got my nuggets in one two three four five six seven eight nuggets or nine oh yeah so I'm gonna put my put my nuggets in so you might wonder why vegetarian nuggets well, I haven't eaten meat 
for over a year now. Why? Well, I think it's better for the environment and I can live without meat, so that's why. I still eat like eggs if they are in like pancakes or something like that. And fish, but no red meat or chicken. So yeah. Let's open the open the mirrors. I think I need two hands. So, let's start the clock and see how long this take. I think it's gonna take like half an hour or something. So, yeah, let's see. I'm gonna show you some of the view around here. I'm getting closer to this kind of um, turning bridge. Swivel bridge? I don't know what you call it. But yeah, it's over there. And they're never gone under or past any kind of that kind of bridge here in Finland. I did that in uh, Florida when I was there sailing. But here, yeah. I don't know how it works. In in Florida, uh, we uh, call the bridge master the uh, VHF radio. Here, I think they open it like once in you know half an hour. But I don't know if there are any timetables or if they are just opening when somebody somebody needs to. Yeah, I think it's opening now. Can you see it? It's turning away. It's turning. I think I'm gonna boost my speed a little bit up so I get there in time. So, yeah. I think there's some kind of lights over there, but I don't know how. What do they do? I just went through, I don't know if it's, it was my turn or not. There was a one, one boat waiting for them. So that boat didn't get through, I don't know if I took it turn or something. Well, stuff happens. No, pretty straightforward. One tight corner over there. After that, it's pretty straightforward. There, where my harbor is. So it's been now 25 minutes. So let's see how the nuggets are. I'm also getting into this tight corner over here that I had to toot toot do it like that. Let's see the nuggets. Oh they're getting the golden color, the brown color, well, I don't think they are ready yet, so I'm gonna keep them for another 10 minutes or something. So, the vegetarian nuggets are ready, Get some mayo over here, and yeah, I'm getting pretty close to my harbor now. I set up the uh, hammock back again there. And I'm now using my my autopilot remote controller so I don't have to <laughs> get up from the hammock so that I don't have to get out of my hammock to steer the boat so yep 
Pretty good. Yeah, I should mention. The Madman Marine. Guy from Australia sent me this a few years ago. So, thanks again for that. It's a really cool gadget to have when you, when you want to relax and not worry about sailing too much. So, yeah. Let's eat some vegetarian nuggets. So yeah, the nuggets were really good and yeah, they were well done. So I'm getting close to my harbor. My harbor is behind that island over there, that side. But I remembered I have to empty my poo and pee tank and uh, vacuum sucking poo pee. Machine is over there. Oh, over there, yeah. So, yeah. I'm gonna go there first and then get to my hopper. But I'm gonna wrap this up for now. So, again, YouTube people, thank you very much for watching and I hope you like this video. Put your thumbs up if you like. If you don't like, you can put your thumbs down. On the comments, you can see what was good, what was bad. All that kind of stuff. And remember to subscribe to see more of this stuff. But yeah, have a nice day, and I'm gonna see you on the next video. Bye bye.